So now that we've queued up a model, let's go ahead and give animation a shot. I'm going to hit select here so that we can see the whole model and its default. Um, and over on the left, you have the frame manipulation panel. And that's where you can see all of the different bones which you can animate inside of the body uh, and uh, that kind of stuff. So um, everything is defaulted at frame zero to what you see here. It's just basically a model that hasn't been animated and it's in its default pose. So what we're going to have to do is uh, modify the pose and then as time goes on in our scene or in our video, uh, we can add in new poses at specific keyframes. And what the software will do is, let's say that on uh, frame five that she has her hand holding up in the air but we don't set anything for frames one, two, three, and four. It'll basically uh, interpolate between those uh, frames to basically add in the animation as necessary. So it has a pose in frame zero and frame five, and everything in between that is automatically calculated by the computer. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. Uh, we're gonna hit the select button in bone manipulation so that we can uh, select part of the arm. And I. I think we're going to want the yeah arm left and then we'll have her arm basically move up. Uh, but here you can see that not every single bone can be moved. Uh, some can, but others you need to actually rotate. So the way we get her arm to move up is to hit the rotate button in bone manipulation. And here we can figure out uh, which direction do we want to rotate it in. And I believe what we're looking at here is uh, Z. Oh, no, no, sorry, the Y, which is green because uh, that's the up and down. So now we've got her holding her hand up here a bit on frame five, uh, but it's not actually registered as a keyframe yet. So if I don't do anything and I go to say another frame, it's gonna lose that motion altogether. So you see, I go back to frame five now by left clicking up here and the motion has been lost. So what we have to do, uh, get it to the pose you want and then hit register in bone manipulation and that will add a keyframe for that bone at that specific keyframe. So uh, let's go ahead and go through the frames now and you'll be able to see over five frames, it animates very slowly. It's uh, kind of clunky and you can see on the interpolation curve that it just goes straight up there. There's no smoothing in or anything like that. Um, but that's uh, another story for another time. And it's only basically rotating the arm socket right here, but nothing else. So maybe we also want, uh, say, one of her bones over here to churn a bit. So we can do that by, say, selecting elbow left. Make sure that's selected. Go ahead and rotate this as well. And then, as you can see, by rotating that in different directions, it becomes in a way, a little bit more complex or a little bit more realistic. I'm not calling myself a master animator here, but um, in order for motion to look smooth, you're definitely going to have to rotate or move multiple bones at once because that's what a real human would do. Um, so here I'm going to register that frame. And let's go back to zero again. So one, two, three, four, five. And by right-clicking in the view space, we can uh, actually rotate the camera, by the way. And yeah, we can see that this socket has rotated a bit. This one has two. And we have a pretty basic animation there.